several users are working on a common project and want to synchronize via a server. The screencast shows which steps are necessary to set up and manage such a multi-user working environment. The first step is to set up a multi-user server. This is the linchpin for the synchronization of the projects. The TIA portal multi-user configuration tool is executed for this purpose. A secure connection via HTTPS is recommended. This is already selected here. For this, a corresponding certificate is required which is automatically generated. The location of the server database can be defined accordingly. In the next step, the installation of the service starts, which has to be started once. We switch to TIA portal where our project is already open. The connection information for the server set up in the previous step must now be stored in TIA portal. The connection information such as protocol, host and port are stored here. The multi-user server can now be accessed via the context menu. Due to the encrypted connection, the certificate must be trusted. The connection to the multi-user server is now configured and established. However, there is no TIA portal project on the server that can be worked on together. This has to be uploaded first. For uploading, we use the offered wizard. The process can be simplified by setting it to check marks. After the project has been successfully uploaded to the multi user server, all participants can download a local copy of the project from there. This is called a local session. Administrative tasks are performed by the multi user administrator. For this purpose, a connection to the multi user server must also be established from the administration tool. In the left column, you will find the configured servers that can be administered. Due to the encrypted connection, the certificate must be trusted. Now possible administrative tasks are server-wide as well as project granular user administration. You can also see the local sessions and the history of the individual projects. Basic functions of the history are display of the different project versions, changed objects of a project version, export of a project version to a single user project and restoring all the project versions, which we call rollback. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.